Welcome to Jets This Week. I'm Gary Lawless, my colleague Paul Wiesick. We're here and uh, just below us we're watching the Pittsburgh Penguins wind up and the Penguins come into Winnipeg as uh, uh, one of the uh, top teams in the National Hockey League. But surprise, surprise, the Winnipeg Jets enter this game's action sitting third in the Central Conference. Uh, one and four start didn't look like the Jets were going to be uh, back in the playoff picture this quick. Paul, what do you make of what the Jets have done recently? I'll tell you what, 5-0-1. Uh, in the last six, I didn't see that coming. I don't think really anybody did. I think maybe the only people not surprised by what the Jets are doing are Paul Maurice and the Winnipeg Jets. I mean, this team has bought into this Maurice system. Um, they've been remarkably good defensively. I haven't scored a ton of goals, but I'll tell you what, you don't need to score any goals. They've come in, uh, had a couple of shutouts on the weekend. Um, so if you're not giving up any, you don't need to score any. Andre Pavlik, the other big question mark for the Jets coming in this year, has been scintillating in his last five games. Um, he's got a 1.1 goals against average in his last five, 955 save percentage in his last five. All these question marks about Andre Pavlik and whether he was the goalie that was going to get the Jets to the next level coming into this season have certainly been answered at least early on. Yeah, it is interesting. Andre Pavlik, in his career, uh, some of the uh, analytics guys have done some work, and they did sort of a rolling average of 10-game uh, spans throughout his career, and he has been not this good before but he has been good his save percentage right now is 924 on the season his career is 906 he has been around 921 at other points in time in his career it's sustaining it and that really is the big question for the Jets is whether or not they can sustain this you know they're eighth in the league in goals against with a 2.00 that's remarkable and Pavlik save percentage if they can keep those numbers at those spots they'll be a playoff team well, you know, it's interesting, too, because, eh? of course, we're all talking to the Jets here about, wow, Pittsburgh Penguins in here must be a real measuring stick game for you. And it is, of course, the Pittsburgh Penguins, one of the elite teams in this league. How do the Jets stack up? We're going to get a good indication by how they play against the Penguins. But what I find interesting and the stratosphere where the Jets are playing right now is they just beat the Chicago Blackhawks in the United Center. You want to talk measuring stick games. If you're beating the Chicago Blackhawks in the United Center, you're doing something right. So it seems to me they've already measured up against one of the league's best teams but you're quite right can they sustain it can they do it game after game this is another one it's a big test it'll be interesting to see how they play against penguins there's a well-known study uh, done by the toronto star actually that says on the date of american thanksgiving which is usually the last week of november about three weeks away from where we are right now 88 percent of the teams that are in the playoffs on that date stay in the playoffs and make the playoffs so the Jets have got three weeks to uh, stay where they are, Paul. For Jets this week, I'm Gary Lawless, Paul Wiesick. We'll see you soon.